Sunday was the day that I was just like at my ultimate sickest and Randy actually went to the juice bar to get me some of these shots and in her snapchat she was snapping that she was walking to go get me some juice shots and in the caption on her snap she meant to write oh Karen got hit with a bug like a flu bug cold bug something but she accidentally typed bus <laughs> so a bunch of people thought that because of Randy's snap that I got hit with a bus and I was getting like tweets and snaps people like oh my god we thought you got hit by a bus no I'm not Regina George I did not get hit by a bus I'm good did not get hit by a bus <laughs> What's up guys? So I look and sound exactly how I feel right now. I woke up feeling like absolute crap. Uh, last night I felt like a sore throat sort of coming on and sure enough this morning I woke up I can barely swallow. My glands are incredibly swollen and just feel like crap. I don't really have anything to take right now. I amped up my vitamin C, took about 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C, took some wellness formula. It's by Source Naturals. It's um just a bunch of vitamins and herbs that you can start taking as soon as you start seeing or feeling sick. I took some of that. I don't know. We'll see. I have cardio and training that I'm supposed to get in today. Um, I'm definitely going to listen to my body. People often ask me what I do or what I recommend about taking time off from training when you're feeling sick and that really, really depends on the individual. It depends on your body. It depends on exactly how sick and the extent of the sickness that you're feeling. I just always recommend listening to your body. Right now, I feel well enough to go in and get in a good sweat at least with cardio. I'm probably only going to do about half of my 450 calorie burn because I don't want to push my body too hard. Um, that's the, kind of the fine line that you walk when you're feeling sick. You want to keep the intensity a little bit lower because ultimately if you're not recovered you're not going to recover from your sickness either. I'm going to get in about 450, about half of the, my 450 calorie burn for my cardio right now and then um, kind of take the day as it comes, really listen to my body, keep my water intake extra high, and just try and take it a little bit easy today. I might end up taking a rest day from training today and do my training tomorrow just so that I can rest as much as possible today. So I will keep you guys posted, but I'm going to go and get in some cardio right now. And I got my cardio buddy with me. Randy's still here. Yeah. Randy did the 10,000 calorie challenge yesterday. If the video is probably going to be up on her channel before this video is up, so go watch. And it's not fun, guys. It's not <laughs> as fun as you think it is. She definitely wants to do some cardio, and I need her to be my cheerleader this morning because I feel like crap. Oh, I will. Cheer you on. We're going to get it in. So this just goes to show that life happens when you're making other plans. I am like seven weeks out, about seven weeks out right now, and it's not ideal to be sick, but we're going to push through it, and we're going to get through it. I've been sick during preps before and like I said the ultimate key here it really is just listen to your body. A lot of times you can get in and get in a little bit of training like I said I'm gonna go get in some cardio right now but ultimately if you push yourself too hard you're only going to prolong the sickness ultimately get sicker and then it's just going to get worse so try and really hone in on those cues from your body and just listen to it and don't be stupid. <laughs> I'm craving something super warm for my throat this morning, so I'm doing cream of rice. Um, I usually switch it up between cream of rice and oatmeal. I've been on a cream of rice kick lately, so that's what I'm doing this morning. I have my super fancy microwave safe bowl from Target. So I measured out my cream of rice first, mixed it with a little water, and put it in the microwave for about a minute and a half. So you can see the consistency here. So now what I'm going to do to make it extra voluminous is I'm actually going to add my egg whites into my cream of rice. So after you pour your egg whites in, it's going to look super liquidy like that, but I promise it will thicken up once you put it back in the microwave. So pour your egg whites in and just stir it really, really, really good. 
Cook time is going to vary. I put it back in for about a minute and a half. I'm gonna hit the two minute mark and check on it in about a minute and 20 seconds. Take it out after about a minute and you can see the egg whites are starting to cook into the cream of rice. It's still pretty liquidy, so what you wanna do is give it one really good final stir and then stick it back into the microwave for about one more minute. So while that's cooking, I'll show you guys some ideas of things that I like to put into my cream of rice or into my oatmeal after it's done cooking. Blueberries. Obviously, nut butter. This nutso is probably one of my favorites right now other than the nuts and more. I usually will do a few grams of our Her Way protein powder. I've been on a blueberry muffin kick lately. This stuff is so bomb. If you guys haven't seen it yet, it literally has freeze-dried blueberries inside. So good. Chia seeds are a really great option as well. It's a good source of omegas in there and it adds like a nice little crunch. And then stevia and cinnamon always to add a little sweetness. Obviously, you don't have to put all of these different things in at once. These are just some ideas to add in for different textures and flavors. That final minute was just what I needed, so it's actually pretty perfect right now. It looks kind of crazy, almost sort of like a mashed potato type texture. So it's going to be piping hot because it's been in the microwave for a total of about two and a half minutes after all of that. And it is pretty thick, like I said, mashed potato consistency. So then what I like to do is add a little bit of cool water to it to get it to more of a creamy consistency that I like. All right, so I added the water and now it's much thinner and creamier. This is the consistency that I like. Add as little or as much water as you like. Now I'm going to add in my toppings and that is going to be my breakfast. on the agenda I'm gonna soak in this super hot Epsom salt bath for a little bit try and sweat some of this out and catch up on some reading I've really been enjoying this book called crazy love by Francis Chan I slowly laid in the bathtub for about 45 minutes when I got out I still just felt totally drained zero energy and so I put on some sweats that I'm still wearing and laid back in bed and that is so not like me. I don't think I've taken a nap since like the second grade. <laughs> I can't, like I physically cannot. I My brain moves at a million miles a minute. My body can't sit still. So as much as I would love to take naps and do get tired throughout the day, I just physically can't take them. But that's how I know I'm sick. My body was just like, homegirl get your butt back in bed and lay down and so although I didn't fall asleep I did lay there for about 30 minutes and that felt really good but I do have things to get done life can't stop just because I'm not feeling good so I'm um, running to the grocery store to pick up a few items and then I'm actually gonna go do some cryotherapy cryotherapy in general helps tremendously with recovery and with the immune system so I'm hoping that a good session today will give me what I need to just at least get my energy levels up and hopefully get some work done for the day. Open eye Feel the waves cut through me Hypnotize by the sounds of but this will be good for my immune system? Yes, absolutely. Good. Yeah, I need it today. I know. We're, yeah, we're triggering we're triggering the internal system so it's gonna give you that boost because it's making you fight really hard to protect itself. So you're getting a lot a lot of benefits out of this for uh, sure. Yeah. Needed, <laughs> yeah. And I always have a boost of energy when I'm done. Yeah. Um, like if anything like the energy level aspect to like get some work done today and not just want to like lay in bed in my pajamas. I will yes. put my pajamas back. <laughs> no worries. It's the great. Cat day, glasses, no makeup kind of day. But the hat is cute. <laughs> it's really cute. I like it. So I'm pretty much out of commission today, but getting some work done. Uh, Randy just went to the juice bar. Luckily, I have amazing friends, and she stopped and got me some juice shots. What'd you get me, Rand? 
got you uh, well, two wellness ginger shots. He said to take one before bed and then one in the morning. Oh, so don't take it now? I uh, know. Okay, what's in it? Oh, just, oh, ginger, ginger, lemon, and cayenne? Ginger, lemon, and cayenne. Oh, that's so perfect. Yeah, he said that since your throat is sore, like, that will help you, like, the cayenne will help get it away. Yes, this looks great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. What'd you get? I got the most detoxifying juices that I could get because I ate 10,000 calories yesterday. So I got a lemon cayenne water. I can share this with you if you want. That looks good. And then I got a greens three, which is kale, spinach, romaine, parsley, cucumber, celery, apple, lemon, and ginger. And then charcoal is really good for um, detoxing the body. So then I got uh, chlorophyll H2O. Awesome. Dripping lights, paint the sky. Oddly enough, my appetite is like so gone today. So one positive of not feeling well during prep is that I don't have an appetite and I don't want to eat everything in the world. So that's cool, I guess. <laughs> I always try and look on the bright side of things, you know. I um, also, the fact that this is, I just look terrible right now. Wow, I'm really sorry, guys. Um, also, the fact that this is like the last weekend before I'm going to be traveling a ton and the last weekend before I have different events going on on the weekends, different, all sorts of different things coming up. So, if there's one weekend where I should get sick, I guess this is the best one for it to happen. Um, so just trying to look on the bright side of things like something good in all bad situations So it's all about your mindset just had a little caffeine so that I can get some work done What's up guys? It is Sunday today, right? Sunday yeah, ready? <laughs> I stopped filming yesterday and haven't filmed at all yet this morning because I am literally so sick I can't even remember the last time I felt this sick. I was talking to Randy about how I like I'm the kind of person that just cannot take naps. I can't fall back asleep. Once I'm up, I'm up. My body just wants to keep moving. My brain doesn't shut off. But I woke up this morning, had a little breakfast just for the simple fact of like getting something hot on my throat because it hurt so bad, and I went straight back to bed. This cold or whatever I have right now literally has just hit me like a freaking bus. I am seven weeks out, and this is not the ideal time to get sick, but this is real life and so um, life happens while you're making other plans to do things and you just kind of have to do everything you can to roll with it and stay positive and so that's what I'm doing. I'm listening to my body 100% today. I am going to take an entire full rest day, no cardio, no weight training and just try my best to just relax and rest as much as I can. Luckily, Randy stopped and got me a B12 shot, which is really good for energy, and then this other immune booster shot. It has lemon, ginger, jalapeno, Himalayan sea salt, and oregano oil, and it's supposed to help with your immune system. My doctors are closed today, so um, we're gonna see how I feel tomorrow, and if it gets worse, I'm gonna bite the bullet and go to the doctor. He go to the doctor, but um, we're supposed to be going to San Antonio this weekend, and I'm really looking forward to that, and I don't wanna be sick, and I don't wanna be sick for my prep. I have cardio to get done, weight training to get done. I need to be okay. So uh, yeah, resting today, and we're just gonna play it by ear, but thank you for my shots, Randy. You're welcome, I love you. So that's just a little update for you guys. I will keep you posted on how I'm doing and how I'm feeling and if I get my butt out of the house to maybe go get some medicine or something today. But catch y'all soon. Okay, so I got some daytime cold and flu for aches, fever, sore throat, nasal congestion, and cough. All of my symptoms. I'm gonna be taking that. Got some hot tea, lemon and ginger, a couple of fresh lemons to slice up in my tea and in my water, and just some vegetables that I needed for meals. And I also got some vitamin D. They were buy one, get one free. Vitamin D is so great when you're starting to feel sick. You can definitely increase the amount of vitamin D and vitamin C that you're taking. What's up guys, checking in with you all. It is Monday the 30th. So in the previous clip on Sunday, I was literally just so, so, so sick to the point where 
I just couldn't even barely get out of bed and that is so not like me that's how I know that I'm sick I prayed all day yesterday stayed on top of my meals got in tons of water but really only got out of bed to eat and to drink water and just prayed and prayed and prayed that I would wake up today feeling better and God is so good <coughs> I am still sick but I feel a whole lot better than I did yesterday my throat's still sore and now it just kind of feels like more of a little bit of a head cold than like an overall just like oh my god I'm knocked on my butt just can't move sickness um, so I was able to get up this morning I just got done training I really just wanted to get into the zone and focus because yesterday was such an off day for me so I didn't actually film my training but it was back day today it felt really good towards the end of my sets you know I was feeling a little fatigued and a little bit tired but my body is obviously still fighting an infection but I felt well enough to go in and train so that was great one thing I did want to speak about when you are sick my best advice honestly is to not step on the scale that's something that I know it's something that I tell my clients because honestly when you're when you are sick your body is fighting an infection so what happens is your body's defense mechanism really is to hold water because it's trying to protect itself and I know this this is something I share with my clients as well, but against my better judgment, I got on the scale this morning and I was up almost three pounds from my lowest weight. And being in prep, that's not something that you want to see, but I got off the scale and instead of freaking out, I reminded myself, Karen, why did you even get on the scale this morning? You know better than that. Your body is holding water to protect itself. You're sick. You're fighting an infection. I just reminded myself of those things and I know that just keeping my water intake high, staying on point with my nutrition, and after I'm done fighting off whatever it is that I'm fighting off, my weight and my body will regulate and so I'm not going to step back on the scale until I'm actually feeling 100% again and I have full confidence that my weight will be regulated and right where it needs to be so pro tip word of advice you guys when you are sick just don't step on the scale just don't it's not the best indicator of your progress when you are sick your body is going to hold water the best thing that you can do is actually increase your water intake that's gonna help flush out that inevitable excess water retention I'm trying to get in two gallons while I'm sick right now so increase your water intake stay on point with your diet and when it comes to training just listen to your body and do what you can don't push yourself too hard because when you're training intensely you're already breaking down your body as it is and you're gonna prolong that recovery time so, so take your recovery serious allow yourself to recover to 100% and then just get right back at it and everything will level out and regulate so that is my word of advice stay off that scale when you're sick guys made a little stop at my PO box on the way home and got the sweetest card from Lindsay this card itself is just super cute it was addressed to both Amanda and myself and everything that you wrote inside I read it in the car right when I got out of the post office and it was so sweet thank you honestly you guys their kind words and your positivity and just everything it means the world um, and it's helping me get through this awful sickness right now so thank you that was just what I needed um hydro jug the both of us also addressed to Amanda and myself. We're kind of a package deal. <laughs> Ooh, these are nice. A gallon. Nice logo too. I'm in the process of redesigning my logo, so I'm like very interested in other people's logos. Cool. Yay, one for me and one for you. I'll take one. Which one do you want? Um, I don't care. Whatever. I don't one care. One. You decide. The black one matches your nails. I like surprises. Did you snoop for your Christmas presents when you were little? Yes. I really? Not all the time. I think I did it one time and I found them once. I never did. I like always wanted to be surprised. I'm like not really a surprise. I know you're not. You gave me all my Christmas presents early. <laughs> I just don't like it. <laughs> really? Ooh. No, that's me. Oh, these are those um, stevia sweetened uh, oh, barbecue simple girl. sauces, yeah. and stuff. balsamic vinaigrette, Damn, perfect for prep. Carolina style barbecue, the barbecue on the bomb. Citrus ginger. Wow, there's a ton. Sweet mustard. Ooh, I love that one. 
Sweet Hot Louisiana Seasoning. Zero fat, zero carb, zero calories, zero sugar. And, oh, a bunch of little packets of their sauces too. So these are all one carb, only five calories, zero sugar, gluten-free, vegan. These are perfect for prep. And I think they're sweetened with stevia. Yeah, sweetened with stevia. So no like uh, aspartame or anything like that. That's awesome. Three calories in the citrus ginger. And these are from Simple Girl. Cool. Excited to try those. This is from Kara Drennan. A book and a card from Kara for Karen. Keep being his light, Kara. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love you guys. Kara, I hope you don't mind, but I'm actually going to read your card. So it says, Karen, I'd ask for your P.O. box so that I could send you this book. I did a study with it about a year and a half ago, and it rocked my world. It helped me to understand exactly how our enemy works and how to pray, fight through those times. I hope you love it as much as I do. You have such a light about you, friend. It's easy to see that God's spirit is alive in your heart. He is going to use you in a mighty way. A woman's battle plan for serious, specific, and strategic prayer. Oh, I'm so excited to read this. Thank you. So I saw one little extra note slip out of Kara's uh, letter, and she wrote, P.S. I wanted to add that God put it on my heart to send this to you. I think that's important to mention because when it, he prompts us to do something, there's a specific reason for it. I believe that wholeheartedly. I've learned to stop questioning it and just do it. Something beautiful always comes out of it. Something beautiful always comes out of our obedience with love from Arkansas. Thank you so much, Kara, and to everyone who dropped me a little something into my P.O. box. Honestly, it was just what I needed today. You guys never fail to just fill my heart with so much joy. I love and appreciate you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you. Legs are done and that is going to wrap this vlog up. I apologize that most of it was just me being sick. Well, that is just the reality of things. Life happens. Being sick during prep is not ideal, but like I said, life happens and you just have to learn to roll with the challenges, roll with those bumps in the road because they're just inevitable. I did everything I could to make sure that I recovered as quickly as I could. I loaded up on vitamin C, vitamin D, my wellness formula. Went to bed early the past few nights. Took a full rest day on Sunday because I literally just couldn't even get out of bed and just prayed a lot. Slowly getting a little bit better every single day. Energy levels are increasing a little bit more every single day. For everyone that has sent me prayers and positive thoughts and get well wishes, I appreciate you guys so much. For those of you that left me a sweet note and just something special in my P.O. box, honestly, that was everything that I needed yesterday. I was driving home from the gym and I wasn't going to actually stop at the post office, but something told me, Karen, just go, just go. And I went and I am just honestly so 
blown away and so happy that I did. Um, it was a definite game changer for my mood and much needed after being sick for a few days and just kind of feeling a little bit down. So honestly, I appreciate you guys more than anything. You have no idea. There aren't even enough words to express how much gratitude I have for all of you guys that are here along with me on this journey and those of you that leave comments below and your kind words and your positivity. Truly, there aren't enough words to express my gratitude for you guys. And Kara, that book is incredible. I could not put it down yesterday. Everyone, every single one of you, I appreciate you guys more than you know. Getting feelsy and sappy on y'all, but that's just the way that it is. Thank you again so much for being here, you guys. And that is going to wrap up this vlog. Hopefully in the next vlog, you'll see me feeling 100% and I will catch you guys there. Love y'all.